final guest uh, is one of our favourite actors and one of our favourite loose men. He's been a regular on our screens for well over 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Larry Love! <laughs> So starstruck, Me I tell you. Did you get yeah. a selfie? I did, yeah. actually. Aww. Yeah. It's incredible, yeah. isn't it? Mm. My fa we grew up on her dad's music. Yeah, I'm not too. kidding you. Mm. Just extraordinary. I just yeah. got this. I've got one of those rap rat pack things on my phone. I was just mm. running through. I don't think there's any Frank Sinatra song that I can't at least sing along with it. I just, as soon as he starts, that's it, yeah, I'm on yeah. there. Oh, just yeah. extraordinary. Amazing. We should yeah. have had you on set when we were talking to Tina, mm -hmm. with you being such a massive fan. But look, I want to talk about another icon, because what a lot of people in here may not know, and a lot of people watching, is that within the last hour we heard that Sir Michael Gambon had passed away at the age of 82. He's yeah. Of course, yeah. well known for playing Dumbledore in, in Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. huge respect in the industry, isn't he? Well, you know, like an extraordinary career in the theatre, first yes. off. You know, somebody who's played all sorts yeah. of stuff right from the beginning. And evidently, one of the biggest and funniest jokesters on stage. There's a friend of mine that worked with him, and then he was just. He was capable of turning everybody you were talking about this said about <laughs> laughing inappropriately, <laughs> and Gambon was evidently somebody who could pull that one just when you didn't want it. But yeah. you know, I'm sure he's died a very fulfilled man. Mm. You know, he's had a, a career that most actors would really dream of. Yeah. So you know, mm. rest in peace, Sir it Michael did. Gambon. It did. It did. Talking of dreams, you, you, you were able to have a, 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 a situation which many, I'm sure, would dream of, and that's uh, you spent the evening, the night, with, <laughs> no, the uh, with evening, loose women last the night. Evening, didn't you? The, evening. <laughs> the, the evening was enough. <laughs> I got out of Dodge fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And what a rowdy crowd in South End, I tell you. <laughs> dear, oh dear. And you and, uh, well, I wasn't there, sadly, to watch that, but I have heard today about. You and Janet had quite a bit of chemistry on that stage. Yeah. No, the words were, you were flirting well, with that's Janet. Well, like what, that. they were all saying, you, you're flirting with him, Janet. And I just thought, well, she's not. She's just being nice to me for a game. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's all that's it was. That's a big thing with Janet. That's what being I mean. Nice. I thought she's just waiting for a moment and she's going... Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> but, no, it was lovely. It was really good fun. Aww. Really good fun. Lovely audience. Great big theatre, wonderful theatre. So this was the last night of our tour, I know, wasn't it? Yeah. Last night. Yeah. So tomorrow's a massive day for you um, with the Macmillan Trust, isn't it? I know. It? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. And so I've done that every year for uh, probably about ten years now, and it's a, it's a charity that I really feel very close to. They've helped a, a dear old friend of mine. They helped my brother, and you know, they, it, it's something there for all of us. That service of the, what yep. they provide. Mm -hmm to help us all when we need it. And, of course, this is me dealing with it as somebody who's involved with somebody mm. dying of cancer and, and, and not being the person, you know? <laughs> and it's such a relief to know that they're there and they can help you through everything that's involved with it, that's you right. know, paperwork and whatever, all the way through along the line. No, extraordinary. And it's their coffee morning, Macmillan's coffee morning on Friday, and you can organise one yourself or you can hit their website and they'll tell you give you tips on what to do, but basically cook some cakes, make some coffee and flog it to your friends and raise money for them. Oh, <laughs> nice. so if you were listening, just wanted to get your take on this, cos you've been around a bit, as have all of us. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about, you know, the, the, what's happening on the streets at the moment with, with stabbings and crime and... And well, what, this, this what's country, your view on it? This country is really going to the dogs. That's it, unfortunately. <laughs> too much, too much money being made by too few people and not enough interest in what's going on with ordinary people in their lives. And at the end of the line, you're spending lots and lots of money that you don't have on trying to take care of people who are caught up in stabbings on the street when a lot of these young lads, and mostly young lads from working-class areas, are just not getting any attention at all 
other than when it's too late. They're, they're, they're watching stuff on television, they're listening to stuff they should never listen to from a very early age, being totally corrupted. Nobody's taking any... Nobody's spending any time thinking what to do to sort of do something for this. Send an air ambulance and sort out the after-effects of, of, of another stabbing. It's just absolutely crazy. You ever thought about being Prime Minister? I beg your pardon? Ever thought about being Prime Minister? I couldn't... I, couldn't I, I, I used to do a thing for LBC and I, I sort of touched on the whole politics thing there, but the politics is something I just could not go near, you know? You've got to be really, really ruthless to get in on that. As and I'm, I'm too much of a softy, but it doesn't stop me <laughs> mouthing off when I see you. <laughs> useless! <laughs> Second, second division yeah. players yeah. running the country right down the toilet. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> I, I wouldn't give any of them a job making the tea. I'm not kidding you. None of them. <laughs> uh, let, let's talk about your show with, with Alison, because you've been doing a little road trip with her, haven't you? Yes, yes. Alison and I, dear, on the road again. We did one, we did the genealogy thing first, and then we went... <laughs> To Bar we went to Barry Island <laughs> and relived that. And there, were, there. <laughs> she, it's very, very it, like doing that scene again, like running around that, going driving around that that uh, Dodgem track there. And Alison being petrified, I was going to bump her out of that, <laughs> bump her out of that chair. <laughs> yeah, it was it was great. It was really that, that that I think that little scene there was the highlight of it for me. And that, you know it happened. We did it chronologically. We went across country all the way from Barry, right? And we finished up all the way from Billericay and finished up in Barry. And you know it was a real trip down mm. memory lane. Mm. And and to finish up doing that on the Dodgems in Barry in the fairground. In the rain, <laughs> and, uh, true to form. <laughs> when yeah. we arrived in Barry, it was just bucketing down. <laughs> but yeah, lovely. And nobody knew we were coming, and they were looking at us much as they were. Oh, I know you from somewhere. <laughs> was it nice to just hang out with your mate? Yeah, it was. It was lovely. And we, we, we I mean, we, we get on, you know, we just get on and yeah. just sit and sing and talk and chat and, you know, talk about old friends. Talk about things we've done in common, yeah. places we've been. Yeah. It was lovely. What it a must lovely be job. Just, just lovely just to sort of hang out and just do nice things. Yeah. And it works really well. It's such a wonderful programme. It you. really is. Thank you. Well, ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. Larry. Yeah.